I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. You're going to learn something today about parallel charging. I'm a big proponent of parallel charging, but it definitely has its risks. It can be done safely. Let's let's face it. Anytime you're dealing with lithium batteries like we are, there are risks. So parallel charging definitely increases those risks, but you can do it safely, and you need to know there are some things that you don't do. But there's a misconception about something that you can't do that I want to clear up today. And the misconception is that you cannot mix batteries of different capacity. So if you have a 1600 and a 1300 milliamp hour pack, can you put them both on a parallel charge board together? The answer is yes, absolutely. Here's an analogy that I like to use to explain parallel charging. Imagine that you have a container of water and let's say that the container is 16.8 inches high. That is the analogy for the voltage of the fully charged battery. And let's say we have two of these containers, both 16.8 inches high. So they're four cell containers, <laughs> right? And let's say that one of these containers is, let's say 1300 inches long. And one of them is, let's say 1500 inches long. You got the picture, 16.8 inches high, 1300 and 1500 inches long. Picture those containers in your mind with me right now. If I were more professional, I'd have somebody do graphics for this. But anyway, now imagine that we take a hose and we connect those containers at the bottom such that when we pour water into one container, the water goes through the hose and it fills both containers. What's going to happen as we start pouring water into those containers? And the real question is, what's going to happen to the water level between them? Can you see that no matter what we do, those two containers are always going to have the same water level? They have to. Think it through. And that is exactly what happens when we parallel charge batteries of different capacities. When you plug batteries in in parallel, the voltage between the batteries will equalize. That's just the nature of parallel circuits. Uh, and what will happen is that if the voltage is not equal when we first plug the batteries in to the parallel board, well, let's think about that in terms of our water analogy. Imagine that we've got two containers, two, two containers, sorry, my mic's in the way. Imagine that we've got <laughs> two containers of water and one of them is empty. It has like, let's say, uh, 14 inches of water, and one of them has like, say, 25 inches of water, okay? One's a 6S battery and one's a 4S battery. And now imagine that we take a, a hose and we connect them together. The water is going to rush out of the higher container and fill the lower container until the water level equalizes, right? So that is the dangerous current flow that will happen if you plug in batteries of mixed voltages or if you plug in even a fully charged battery and an empty battery. Uh, an unsafe amount of current will flow as those two batteries seek to equalize their voltage potential. Okay, But that is also why it is safe to plug in batteries of mixed capacity because the batteries will always seek to equalize their voltage potential. So this argument that if you've got a 1600 and a 1500, the 1500 will fill up or first and then it'll get overcharged while the 1600 finishes filling up. No, that is absolutely not what's gonna happen any more than if you had several different containers of water of different sizes, any more than if you put the, wa put the water in the containers, they all fill to the same level. Right, And the same thing happens with batteries. As you push charge into the system, the larger batteries take proportionally more of that charge and the smaller batteries take proportionally less of it such that their voltage remains the same. And that means that they are full at the same time. This also addresses the question of how does the charger know when the batteries are full if you don't tell the charger what the capacity is? And the answer is that, let's say I give you a container and I ask you to fill the container up, but you can only see the, like the top of the container. Like imagine it's like um, an underground gas tank or an underground water tank, and you can just see the very top of it. Well, you just run a hose. Eventually, 
the level of the water will come up and you'll go, oh, it's full. You don't know how big it is, but you still know when it's full. And that's how the charger knows when the batteries are full. Even if you've got 10,000 milliamp hours or 2,000 milliamp hours, it doesn't matter. It just keeps pumping charge in there until the voltage comes up to the assigned level and then the batteries are full. So is it safe to mix different sizes of battery in a parallel array? Yes, it absolutely is. You do want to put some thought into this as always when parallel charging, you want to think about the risks and so forth. Um, one of the risks is that let's say you've got a very small battery, like a 500 milliamp hour and a big battery, like a 5,000 milliamp hour. Well, if they have a little bit of a difference in their voltage, when you plug them in, the inrushing, if the if the 5,000 milliamp hour is like 0.2 volts higher and the 500 milliamp hour is like 0.2 volts lower, when you plug them in, the inrushing, the equalization current may still be more than that little 500 milliamp hour battery would prefer. So you definitely, you, at a certain point, yeah, you might not want to mix batteries on the parallel array, but mixing a 1,000 with a 1,300 with a 1,500, no big deal. Mixing batteries of different C rating, no big deal. Because let's say that one battery has a 45C and one battery has a 95C. Well, you're only charging at one or two C, so it doesn't really matter. Mixing batteries from different manufacturers, doesn't matter. As long as the batteries are, let's say they're reasonably close in size, like not like a 500 and a 5,000 milliamp hour, as long as they're reasonably close in size, and most importantly, as long as their voltage is close together, at the moment that you plug them into the parallel board within the, the, the rule of thumb is I use a 0 0.1 volts per cell. So for a four cell battery, I would want them to be absolutely maximum 0 0.4 volts apart. So, so if one was at 14.8 and one was at 15.2, I might plug them in together. That's, that's on the edge though. I usually prefer them to be more like 0 0.2 volts, maybe 0 0.25 at best. So as long as they're within the same voltage, it's safe to plug them in. And it's, there you go. That's it. Now I've answered this question. I've made this video. And every time in the future this topic comes up, I'm just going to link to this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy flying.